Impeached the deputy, uh, President Gechegwa has moved to the Court of Appeal to stop High Court case. Regarding Gechegwa, on Monday, October 28, 2024, filed a petition at the Court of Appeal seeking to stop the ongoing proceedings at the High Court. Gechegwa wants the Court of Appeal to stop the impeachment hearing at the High Court citing dissatisfaction with the ruling by the three judges who failed to declare uh, that Deputy Chief Justice Vilomena Mwilu acted unlawfully in appointing them. According to Gachagua's lawyer, John Jomo, the High Court ruling was inaccurate and a misinterpretation of Article 165.4 of the Constitution. That states any matter satisfied by the court as raising a substantial question of law under clause 3b or d shall be heard by an uneven number of judges being not less than three assigned by the chief justice be falling within the jurisdiction of the courts are counterplated in article 1622. That is what Article 165, uh, Clause 4, uh, says under the Kenyan Constitution. Jomo further argued that Article 25, 27, 47, 48, 51, and 260 of the Constitution only accords the Chief Justice the powers to empanel a bench and not any other judicial officer. I quote, the applicant contends that the stated ruling is based on not only a misinterpretation of Article 165.4 of the Constitution, but also violation of Article 25, 27, 47, 48, 50, and 260 as the Constitution accords the power to empanel and assign judges to only the Chief Justice of Kenya. Therefore, the DCJ uh, Deputy Chief Justice has no power to assign and an impanel judges read part of the petition. I still that the action and me omission of the impound bench are not only wrong and unlawful but incorrect and unprocedural. It added, Gachago through his lawyer argued that should the court of appeal fail to rule in his favor, then he could be denied the right to a fair hearing. I quote, the unless the said orders are issued, any delay shall result in irreparable prejudice of the application rights to a fair trial and a hearing and ultimate loss of the substratum of his petition, E 565 of 2024, which shall ultimately render both the intended appeal hearing and the petition E 565 of 2024 a negatory supervillas and a moot. The petition added. The petition comes a few days after the three judges, Justice Eric Ogola, Anthony Mrima, and Frida Mugambe ruled that Mwilu acted lawfully by constituting the bench on behalf of Chief Justice Mother Kome. And now that is what is inside that uh, petition. Uh, uh, that uh, the deputy president is claiming that uh, uh, he would not been served fairly if the appeal will not be considered by the court of appeal.